Hey guys, Jim from Import Image Racing, and today we're going to be installing the Noble TOS LED brake light kit for our second gen BRGR. So strap in because we're going to be putting our hands to work. Let's go. Right off the bat, you'll notice as soon as we unbox it, we have not only our two tail lights, but we also have our two tail light extensions plus our wiring harness bag. To start it off, we're going to install our two tail lights first, then we're going to move on to the extensions. So let's get started. For starters, we're going to pop the trunk. Then, like a traditional tail light install, we're going to pop our BRZ cover, and then we're going to remove our three 10 millimeter bolts. Once the hardware is removed, we can remove our tail light, disconnect our harness, then take the tail light over to the bench. For this tail light install, we're actually going to go ahead and remove this bracket and transfer it over to our new tail light. Now, luckily, Noble has thought about this and provided you in our kit with our Torx bit. With our bracket installed, we're almost ready to install the light, but first we have to make a choice. You'll see this blue wire with the green connector right here. Now this light comes equipped with your option of sequential turn signal or a conventional flashing turn signal. With this blue wire disconnected, you're gonna have a traditional flashing style turn signal where if you engage this blue wire, you will have a sequential turn signal. Now that we've made our choice for tail light and swapped our bracket over, it's time to reinstall the tail light. With all of our hardware reinstalled, we're going to reinstall our cover plate and repeat all of those steps on the other side. With a flathead screwdriver, we're going to remove our seven push pins that attach our upper trunk liner to the trunk. Once our top felt is removed, we can go ahead and remove our bottom trunk liner. On each side of the trunk, there's going to be two 8mm bolts that we're going to remove. At this point, we can close the trunk slightly and prep our surface free of any sort of dirt, debris, or wax when we attach our light extender. With our surface prepped, we can now remove our 3M tape backing. When installing our light, we're going to want to line it up to this inner body line right here. Now it's time for the harness. So what we're going to do here is kind of lift up ever so slightly on our wing edge, and with a panel popper or maybe with just your fingers, we're going to feed this harness inside underneath the wing until we're just vertical of our bump stop. Now we can remove our trunk bump stop, and we're gonna feed the male end of our harness through this hole into the trunk. Another trick here is to take a couple of zip ties, tape the harness end to it, and then this will aid in fishing it through to the top of the trunk, just like that. After we reinstall our bump stop, we're going to have this piece of felt here that we're going to measure out and cut to this angle that's on the trunk, and then this is going to keep our wires from being able to rub or touch. Then repeat these steps for the other side. At this point, we can find our Y harness that's provided with our kit, and we're now going to plug each one of our light extenders into the Y harness, like so. Then what we're going to do is take the other side of our harness and we're gonna fish it down through the trunk using our same zip ties, and we're actually gonna get it to come through this hole right here. This next step is gonna take the most amount of patience of the entire install. So what we're gonna do is take our zip tie end, and we're gonna fish it through our body harness here into the vehicle, which can be accessed right under here. Now that we've got the wiring harness through, don't forget to reinstall your rubber grommet. And at this point, we can reinstall our trunk foam. Let's remove our center trunk foam as well as our trunk foam from our driver's side. Now we're gonna take our harness and we're gonna fish it behind our inner trunk liner from the top all the way down to the bottom. Next, remove the three plastic push pins that are attaching the back plastic trunk panel. Then by lifting up, we can remove the entire trunk panel. We're looking for this black harness right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to cut into this black harness and expose the wires that are inside. The two wires we're looking for are the pink wire and the black ground. Using the provided pinch clip, 
We're gonna attach the white wire to our pink wire. Now we'll attach our black ground from the lights to our black ground wire from the harness. Now that the wiring is complete, we can tuck the excess wires behind our trunk paneling and reassemble our trunk. That completes the install for our Noble Toss LED brake lights. For more products just like this, plus thousands of others, be sure to hit up importimageracing.com for all of the best deals on the web and in the world. And like always, we'll catch you on the next one.